Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing people on some murder cases, okay? People try to silence me, but I'm not gonna be silenced anymore. We'll be doing this every Tuesday, okay? We are here to break the code. We are here to see where their bodies are located. If they are alive or deceased, or body suits is being made of them, okay? So let's begin it by a young lady. She told me, she just told me her body is actually in the trash can where the grim sleeper threw all his other victims in. Now he's just kind of testing behind the red fair office in the woods by big lots and stuff. This is where she, her body is located in with her baby, okay? Her name is Teresa, Teresa Bunn. T-H-E-R-E-S-A Bunn was pregnant when her body was found burned in dumpster. This is how she looks. Okay. Relatives of Teresa Bunn said that the 21-year-old expected mother was decided about giving birth. At eight months pregnant, Teresa had already named her bundle of joy a son, Michael Pierre Terry Bunn, a name given in homage to her 14-year-old brother. These are, these are shots being thrown, she's saying, yes, she said. This was Teresa's first child, and while nothing about what was to come, she looked forward to her new future with gleeful anticipation. Then, on November the 1st, 2007, Teresa's body was found in a dumpster near Washington Park in Chicago. She was nude, her body was badly burned, and she had been strangled. Teresa could only be identified through dental records, and because of the condition of her remains, her family decided to hold a hold a visual in her honor in Louis of a funeral, which is about to happen soon, okay? <clears throat> yes, I'm hearing her her niece say yes, which is Dominique Bunn. Family and friends and Martin gathered together the place where Teresa's body was found. To me, this is her last place, said Anthony McRae, Teresa's father, which is the grim sleeper. It shouldn't be here. They took our baby and burned her like she was garbage. On the morning that Teresa's body was found, she told relatives that she was going out shopping. Teresa's had a mental condition that her mother worried may have left her confused when she was out alone. Over a decade later, the detectives are no closer to solving Teresa's mother, murder. There has been, however, speculation that Chicago has an unknown serial killer who may be responsible for dozens of murders, who, between 2001 and 2017. In that time, 51 women have been strangled in the area, including Teresa and a 52-year-old Hazel Lewis, who remains was also found near Washington Park in late 2007. I'm hearing Shafferty Lewis as well. 16 of those 51 cases have been closed or solved. In 2007, Chicago police spokeswoman Monique Byrne admitted to reporters there were similarities in the manner of death and how the bodies were disposed of. Yet the DNA in no cases haven't matched to other cases or anyone in their database. No, in a, no information they had gathered give police any indication they were dealing with a serial killer. All this ransom talk, y'all, but shut the fuck up. For Teresa's Bunn's family, they stated that the only thing that could come close to giving them a sense of closure would be the arrest and incarceration of the monster that murdered Teresa and her son. Unborn baby Michael would have been the first grandchild for Teresa's parent. parents. This time is our daughter, but it could be your daughter, your niece, and your mother, McCray said. We as a community need to help each other. Yes. If you have any information concerning the death of Teresa and her unborn child, please contact the Chicago Police Department at 312-746-6000, okay? Please share this story to continue the conversation regarding murder of Teresa Bunn. She's our sister and her life matters. So if y'all want to help with this case, y'all can um, just contact us below, okay? I'm out, peace.